Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will teach you how to prevent your deep nail top coat from going bad. Yes, you heard it right. Not only will I teach you how to use the dip nail system at home, but I will also teach you or help you prevent this from happening. So my top coat has gone bad. So by that I mean it has um, dried like a glue, so I can't use it anymore. So I had to repurchase and I, after repurchasing, I did a little research and um, I found out how to prevent this from happening again. So I'm sharing with you guys so you don't have to waste your money on your top coat. First things first, you'll need the Dip Nail System Set. I bought the Rosalind Set in Lazada for 538 pesos, which is the cheapest one, but I'll be placing a different link below in case you want to purchase because this one is no longer available. Number one on the set is the base coat, which makes the dip powder stick to your nails. Number two on the set is the activator, which hardens the dip powder. And number three, is a top coat which seals the dip powder and gives shine to your nails. Mine has hardened like a glue and it's now stuck and practically useless. This is a usual problem when using dip nail system and I'll show you in a bit what to do to prevent this from happening. And number four on the set is the brush restorer or the brush cleaner which works like magic. Since my top coat has dried out, I had to repurchase a new one and Rosalind don't sell it for peace. And I found this boring pretty top coat which works the same and I got this for only 94 pesos. The set that I bought comes with 4 dip nail powders but for this video, I'll be using a rose gold glitter powder which I borrowed from a friend. The Rosalind set came in this foam holder which I kept because you need to keep the bottles upright when storing it and also to make your set last longer. You will also need lint-free wipes, a small powder brush, and a nail oil or a moisturizer. You may start prepping by cutting your nails to your desired length, filing your nails, pushing your cuticles, and putting some cuticle tint to make your nails look fresh and clean. Wipe some alcohol using lint-free wipes to degrease your nails. And now we're ready to go dipping! Oh, and by the way, this is how the glitter powder looks like. First step to the dip nail system is the base coat. For the first coat, cover about 3 fourths of your nail and dip it into the powder. It dries in seconds and brush off the excess powder. Do this again for the second and third coat but now covering the entire nail with a base coat. And of course, repeat this process to all of your nails. Next step is the activator. Apply two coats of activator on your nails and you'll notice that the powder will harden and you'll be able to see the true color of the dip powder. And here's the trick on how you can avoid your top coat from drying. Always make sure that the activator is dry before proceeding to the top coat. If you want to be extra sure, you can wipe your nail using a lint-free wipe after applying the activator. Last step into the dip nail system is the top coat. Apply one thin layer of top coat to your nail and wipe the brush every time before you dip it back to its bottle. After I spoiled my old top coat, I learned that the activator hardens the top coat, so you must avoid them from touching each other. The top coat dries in seconds and after that, apply some cuticle oil to bring back moisture and uh, voila i'm done with my glitter dip nails i was able to finish in no time and with this you'll be able to save yourself a trip to the salon and also save money on your top coat so that is it for this video i hope you learned something from me today thank you for staying till the end of this video i hope you like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye